This is the third story in the House of Secrets, number 81, okay, from September 1969. And I guess the first story being narrated by Abel, right? The script for this by Gary Conway and the art by Jack Sparling. Twilight's shadows play tricks with his eyes, softening, softening dangers and sharpening fantasies for one Jason Willis. That's the lights from a car. Jason Willis, occupation, vice president, president in charge of research for a major business firm. He's just a name. A faceless name to the man called Aaron Phillips a commodity to be bought and sold but he's also the prelude to Aaron Phillips photo finish who, who are you why did you call me out here to meet what's going on there's Abel telling the story cool it's like the crypt keeper right in ec comics what what no click beautiful panel Oh, I took a picture. Very, very nice, Mr. Willis. You and the guy beside you make a good picture. A very good picture. Who? What? What guy? Wait, I recognize him. Yep, that's Ace Carl Carton, one of the highest paid corporation spies in the business, Mr. Willis. And I'm a humble freelance photographer at your service. Name's Aaron Phillips. Now, what, what, a, what, a, what am I bid for this fine picture, ladies and gentlemen? Do I hear four thousand? Oh, blackmail it is. Ah, the miracle of a poor Polaroid. A simple sixty seconds, and give me that picture. He says. Ah, uh, naughty, naughty, Mr. Willis. The price just went up. 5,000, Mr. Willis. Smack. You're crazy. I haven't got that kind of money. Oh, that's a pity, Mr. Willis. A real awful pity. Ah, oh, well. I'm sure there are plenty of other people who would pay to see this picture in print. Plenty of others. Wait, wait, you can't do this. You can't. You're ruining me destroy everything why why do you want to kill me for for the love of please my entire career ruined 20 years 20 years my god my god please he's chasing after the car these are amazing panels look at that beautiful Jack Sparling artwork. Very nice. One Alex Fox, occupation editor, avocation, hatred, 
of man called Aaron Phillips. Why do you do? Why do you do it, Phillips? Does it give you some sort of sadistic pleasure to destroy people, to crush them like dolls? There's a bit of, there's a bit of the sad, sadist in all of us, Alex, old boy. Remember, you're the editor of this rag. I only submit the pictures. Scumbags. Which I buy, pay exorbitant sums for out of my own pocket because, because, because you have you have to dear Alex we all make mistakes your only misfortune was that I caught you at it so now there's a beautiful beautiful three by five glossy um, perched between you and your job and I hold it dear old Alex look at this mr. Phillips scummy guy Don't sneer at me, Phillips. One day you might just wake up to see your secure job, little balloon bursting. Secure little balloon bursting. When I do, you do, Alex, my forever friend. Now cut the gas and get on with the assignment. Who's this guy? Sandfield? Oh, that's the senator that built the House of Secrets. Senator Sandfield of Kentucky. One of the old southern guards he's led the perfect public life almost too good to be true and there are rumors that it isn't rumors about a house his wife died in it a year ago after she went mad the senators on a fact-finding tour right now the house is empty no servants nobody got you chum I'll make the first plane out expenses paid of course who knows might take a little paid vacation there's the house of secrets he doesn't know what he's up for look at that later what's this guy saying that's funny Alex said the place would be deserted. Why all the lights? Maybe he's got stock in the light company. Who knows? First things first, I'll get a few exterior clips. Bet the guy that designed this went nuts or something make a good human interest story got a feel about it 58 59 60 abracadabra and what the what is he seeing huh there's no house What's going on? Is that fear that makes your heart pound quicker, Aaron Phillips? Can it be that you've come come up to something that can make you afraid? But but that's impossible. I saw a picture of this place, held it in my hands. The camera must be something. The camera there must be something wrong with the camera that's it boars creak beneath your feet but this house isn't old enough to have creaking boars where is it there's something about this place gives me the creeps creak why doesn't the lights lighted house comfort you Aaron Phillips why does your heart still fear the cold grip of fear 
feel the cold grip of fear empty like alex said it would be but why the lights why that sound the wind whoosh. look at the stairs all windy the door The lights, the wind, what's happening? Whoosh. What is that? The candle. I can feel the wind blowing around me, cold on my neck, like breathing, but this candle doesn't even flicker. Oh, you. What's wrong, Aaron? The lights bother you, didn't they? Or was it something else? The wrongness. What's wrong with me? I'm, I'm acting like a little kid, afraid of the dark. That room on the second floor, there's light coming from under the door. Only drowning men grasp at straws, Aaron. Why are you? Must be a trick, a trap. Sure, that's it, a trap. Yeah, yeah. Alex, Alex hates me, wants to frame me like I framed him. Set me up, yeah, that's got to be it. Do even you have a conscience, Aaron? Is that what makes you afraid? He's coming out with the candle. What is it you fear, Aaron? Is it revenge? Is it the fear of vengeance from those you have destroyed? Or is it more basic, more primitive fear? The fear of the unknown. open on the second floor click it's like the flash of the camera crackling softly the fire burns low as night intrudes into the quiet house they never found him the senator died soon afterwards and the house changed hands again and again finally ending up here an interesting flight of the imagination brother abel but it's time i left it's almost dawn My place is just on the other side of the cemetery. Come over to see me some night around midnight. My head's still a bit sore from the last time we met Cain, but we'll see, Abel says. Hope you don't hold that against me, little brother. Accidents will happen, you know. Take care of yourself, brother. Brother Cain. Good night. A flight of the imagination. Well, it might be to him, eh, Goldie? Even if he asks, how could I explain it? 
How could I know about this house? The things that happened. Can you tell me, Goldie? It's almost as if, as if a ghost whispered in my ear, telling me secrets of this house, taking me into its unknown, unseen confidence, a flight of the imagination. I wonder, Goldie. Sometimes there's more truth in fiction, Goldie, than imagination. How could, how could I have known? Can you tell me, Goldie? I can feel this house is bursting, exploding with secrets, secrets it will reveal in, in its good time. And I can't help but feel that there are so many things it has to tell. And then, and then the house is silent for the moment. But if you listen closely enough to the creaking boards and the moaning wind, you can hear it shouting out its tales, the tales which to it are but memories. But the silence, but the silence will be broken again when the next issue of House of Secrets reaches your new a neighborhood newsstand d end and the picture coming out from the crack of the door very cool very cool